Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, OMG, we have another amazing unboxing episode. Let me get her. It is another Chanel True unboxing. Yay! So this came again all the way from a Japanese consignment store. So this is another True Chanel unboxing. You know how much I love sharing True unboxing with you guys. So I have not seen again what's inside and I am praying so hard that this is not a failed unboxing. So again, if you want to see what's inside this very beautiful Chanel box, please stay tuned. Hi guys, Ron here, Zoki Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about latest news about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing luxury fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you can easily subscribe and I will be happy to welcome you. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so again, um, this is a true unboxing. So this is the third box that I received direct from a Japanese consignment store. So again, I was assisted by my friend Arlene Sakata. Thank you so much. So she is a personal shopper from Japan and also a very popular vlogger here. So here her account, please do check her out. So again, a true unboxing I have not seen inside. Um, I, oh, I'm just praying that, you know, it's not a failed unboxing. So are you excited to see what's inside? Let us open her up in three, two, one. There she is. So she is wrapped in um, bubble wrap. So let me just put this aside first. One moment. She's wrapped in bubble wrap. So are you ready guys? Do you have any comment what she is? So the first two that I got from a Japanese consignment store are both vintage vanity bags. If you have not seen that, I'm going to link the unboxing episode here and put it on the description box for you to check out. So let us open. I'm super excited and I'm praying that this is the bag that I'm really, really um, wanting. Three, two, one. Okay, so let me just put this aside. Ooh. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. So it is wrapped. Oh my god. Ugh, wait. OMG. So it is wrapped in bubble wrap again. Oh my god. She is looking really nice. OMG. So here she is. So she is a vintage flap bag made of lambskin leather. <gasps> Let me just remove, guys, this um, packaging. Oh, wait, one moment. There, so I was able to unwrap what um, the bubble wrap for the shoulder strap. So let us inspect, guys. OMG. So this is the first time that I'm holding her. So let me. Give me one moment, guys, to inspect her. Oh my god, why is my heart beating so fast right now? Okay, so this is the front, the side. Oh my god. Okay, what's this? So oh, it's just the plastic bubble wrap. Okay, OMG. So let us inspect her together, guys. OMG, what do you think? So, um, I love that the quilting doesn't look deflated because, of course, with most of the vintage bags, the quilting is, you know, not as puffy compared to the newer and more contemporary Chanel bags here. So, as you are going to see, so she has this very beautiful CC logo. So, there is a marking here. So, with that marking, this signifies that this bag um, comes in a 24 karat gold hardware so the flap is letter v so i'm not really sure if the name of this bag is a you know a v flap but she is a single flap so that is the front 
and this is the side so with the side I could already feel that there is you know wear and tear it feels a little bit more sensitive on the sides here and then at the back part so at the back part there is no Mo Mona Lisa pocket or anything so again there are the diamond quilting and then here is the other side and then the top part so with the top part you are no going to notice immediately that the grommet it only comes with the two grommets just like the mini rectangle or the mini square so it means that uh you cannot adjust the strap so let us open guys oh wait the bottom part so the bottom part are you seeing any wear and tear so of course guys this is a vintage bag and if you have watched my 2022 luxury wish list i said that i still wanted to get a vintage bag but this time in lambskin leather Ooh, okay i love that they you know package the bag really nicely so it came with the i'm not really sure what this is called but i'm going to keep that OMG, wow, oh my god, wow. So here is the inside, guys. So you are going to see. So let me just focus this. So this is the inside part. So you're going to see the CC over there. And then the burgundy interior. So it shows here, guys, it is made in France. So there is a made in France over here. And then, oh wow, yay! Oh my god! So it shows here, so this is made in France, and then on this part, it shows here um, Chanel, the logo. So I was aware that this didn't came with the hologram sticker and no authenticity card but that is okay with me because of course as you know if you are going to purchase from a Japanese consignment stores they have their own authenticators and definitely you would be assured that your bag is 100% authentic and definitely I'm going to have this entropy so I could get you know um, peace of mind that this is authenticated so as you could see guys I love the lining here the lining so it has a burgundy lining and it feels very delicate and very smooth I feel that it is made of lambskin leather and what I love about the lining here there are no wear and there it's not cracking it's not peeling or anything even the zipper part here there are no stickiness omg it's super nice oh my god and then you are going to see that the there is the cc closure for the zipper omg guys omg like oh my god super super nice okay so this is how, what it looks like when there is no stuffing so it's a little bit flat so maybe it would also be nice if you have a bag organizer so you could maintain the shape of this bag wow super nice of course definitely there is wear in there but omg i like okay so let us check the straps also as you can see here there what I super love about this one, so guys, you know, I am such a, sorry guys, Ooh, there, you know guys, I am such a huge fan of vintage Chanel bags and OMG on this one because oh, the hardware is still super good. I see that there are very minimal tarnishing, especially with this one guys, the metal or the shoulder strap is still super gold so let me inspect the leather strap okay so i'm not seeing any deterioration wow there are some wear and tear but in general omg she is super nice so let's do a more close-up look of her hi guys so let's do a closer look and comparison of the two vintage Chanel bag so here oh 
here we have Chanel number one. So she is my queen. She is my very first Chanel bag. So she is a series three and um, manufactured around 94 to 96, if I'm not mistaken. In this one, unfortunately, um, she didn't came with any serial sticker. And I'm not really sure, guys, uh, if the manufacturer date of this one is within you know where the serial sticker was made because i'm in carefully inspecting this one it is possible that this was made pre-serial sticker but then again i can be wrong so i love guys as you could see here from actually even without having entropy this one you could already tell that this is a authentic chanel bag so number one of course you are going to see that it perfectly aligns if you're not going to look at it carefully it would just look like one you know square bag without any flap but there is over here so it perfectly aligns with the quilting so when i have unboxed this one to be honest i was a little bit surprised because i was imagining the bag would be a little bit bigger she looks like um a large mini square bag although i don't have any mini square yet because if we are going to compare this one is a semi jumbo and this is the vintage bag so as you are going to see here the size difference but if we're going to check what fits inside let me get my phone so here is my phone so definitely it would fit in and if you could hear the sound for a little asmr there then if you are going to put your phone here no question asked then there are a lot of space and i think remember guys i've noticed that this part here is a little bit soft compared to the front the flap the back and the bottom part i think the reason is because it's really made to be soft without any hard part on this side so that it could expand without any problem as you can see and like what i mentioned earlier since this has some um, only two grommets compared to the classic flap over here so you are going to see this single flap bag comes with two grommets so meaning you could adjust the strap from single strap to double strap so this one you could only wear her as a single strap just like a mini rectangle or a mini square but there is i feel that you could do a hack so you can open and then just pull it right here so that you can shorten the strap depending on your height and then attach the maybe a piece of ribbon or something that you could purchase from Amazon or even from Chanel the thingy that would strap it in and then you can shorten the strap you could carry it as a top handle or shorten the strap depending on your mood so i'm not really sure so let me try to double the strap if that could work so yes oh wow so you could double the strap just like the wallet on chain you could do it like this but to be honest i am not a fan of this technique because what would happen here is it definitely these two outer straps here would pull um, the flap outward so if you are going to notice with the older wallet on chain that it's on sale you are going to see that the here they're not aligned anymore it's like it's bowing because it's going up so that is now the back so here is the front so again as you are going to see the CC logo there Side. so this one maybe you could just push a little bit inside back there so I love that it doesn't have much corner wear so on by the Japanese um, consignment store they said that this is all original so it has not been recolored or anything even the hardware they did not do anything so it was able to maintain you know the glossiness the 24k shine that's why guys i am super in love with vintage chanel bags because yes even though they are vintage bags 
you would see that they have lasted for so many years this one is around what 20 plus years so i'm guessing this one is a little bit older but as you can see she is still in very good shape and it's like holding a piece of history that's why i super love this one what do you think guys there how did you like our true unboxing episode so hopefully you enjoyed this one and again guys i would love to hear what you think of our new vintage chanel bag do you like her or not please do comment down below again guys i'm inviting you to please join our ever going fam there's a cute little icon here so kindly click on that one so you could easily subscribe and i'll be happy to welcome you also please do follow me on instagram.com forward slash amirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me again guys a million thank yous for staying with me in this unboxing episode i'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out please do stay safe i will see you soon bye Oh, 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 oh,